So students, in this module, we will look at 10 reasons why developers love NoSQL. And this is the list of those 10 reasons. Now this is a pretty ambitious list. And of course you can get all the details in the text. So what I will do is I will go briefly through the key aspects of these 10 reasons why developers love NoSQL. So first of all is there is no need or there is no requirement to write SQL in NoSQL. The reason being writing SQL in itself is a complex task. And when there are changes in the database, those changes are reflected at many places. And at all those places, SQL needs to be changed, needs to be modified. Of course, there are shortcuts that are available to handle this task uh, with less time, but the performance is affected and not all the use cases are covered. Then of course, there is a simpler NoSQL query mechanism which is there to help you. And for those people who really love to write SQL, NoSQL provides a SQL interface also. And of course, the, the beauty of NoSQL is what we have discussed before, that it is not dependent on the schema, right? So that is one of the reasons why developers love NoSQL. Uh, less ETL and less maintenance. Now ETL over here means that making the data close to the database, what have you developed to closer to it. Now what we are doing in many real life problems is that forcing a non-relational mechanism or a non-relational problem into a relational database. It is like forcing a square rod into a round hole. That is the problem over here. So what happens? This results in poor performance. And of course, uh, there are developers who are excellent developers, but when they are made to force a non-relational problem into a relational setup, then the performance suffers. And of course, due to, you can see the, the, the primitives which are available, which bring the data closer to the database itself. So there is less ETL. And database structures are close to the actual problem which minimizes the maintenance effort, which minimizes the effort to make the code run and the system to work for a longer period. Ignore change or add support to NoSQL. How can you ignore the changes? Because of the non-agnosticism feature of NoSQL. It is not dependent upon the schema. So that is the reason. Then of course, close code execution. What is close code execution? Code is distributed across the servers and the data is there. So what happens is that that supports parallelization. When parallelization is supported, of course that results in a higher performance. And there are myriad of NoSQL databases, not one, not two, not three. There are many, many different types of NoSQL databases, as we discussed before, which have been developed to support different types of the problems which are encountered. And of course, there is the global support. Now, it is not that NoSQL is only open source. There is global support of commercial organizations, of commercial companies, which are supporting when you have a problem. You can talk to them. You can get help from them. So that is another reason why NoSQL is loved by the developers. And try before you buy option. The point over here is that since it's open source, so what I can do as a developer is I can try different NoSQL databases and I can see which suits me, right? And I have to don't pay a, a single penny for it. That's the beauty of it. And once I'm satisfied, then of course I can go and buy that database. I can buy and when I buy the database, of course, I can get many more features which are which may not be there in the open source solution. And of course, then there is the server side scripting also that helps in having more functionally viable and efficient database solutions on a NoSQL environment. Then it is easy to scale and you don't need a costly DBA because the C in a conventional RDBS environment, you have to 
have a experienced DBA which has to have certain skills and then you can get the performance out of those systems because in many relation database environments you need specialized hardware but in a NoSQL environment you, you need and you work with commodity hardware commodity hardware without any bells and whistles okay it gets the work done using horizontal scaling therefore you don't need a very costly DBA and it is covered no design is flexible the design is flexible and as the need increases you get more power and as the need is not there for that kind of power you can go away with it so that is the beauty of it and it relaxes the consistency right now the try to understand in a commercial environment in a financial environment of course consistency and the asset test is very critical right but say if i have to make a post on a facebook or a twitter post if the intended audience reads it after half a minute it does not make astronomical amount of difference so you can defer the consistency and you can allow mix and match of the consistency to meet your requirements and of course finally there are 34 plus different programming languages supporting that is a tremendous amount of support as compared to other database solutions and there is full end-to-end -end javascript support javascript has become over the decade more powerful and it has become more useful and the use has become more widespread so there is end-to-end -end support of javascript and of course you do are not limited to certain set of programming skills and of course as a chief technology officer the tco total cost of ownership is comparatively lower it does not cost an arm and a leg it does not cost a bundle to get working an efficient and a good no sql solution so these are the 10 reasons why developers love no sql thank you very much